G'day everybody, it has been two weeks since 343 made their change to add bandit starts into big team battle. It is arguably the biggest change in terms of combat we have seen since the game released. They did a little tester with the BTB Unlimited Bandit Starts playlist. Now it's been rolled out to the official big team battle playlist across all game modes and maps. I wanted to give it some time before making my feedback video on it so I could really feel out the weapon, see how good it is, and see if my opinion changes. Because when I first used the Bandit, if you remember watching my first video about this, I preferred the Sidekick. And I've got to say, it's grown on me. Unishek has also done a tweet saying, I'd love to hear thoughts on this. How's everyone been finding Bandit starts in BTB? For the most part, the comments I read were generally positive. People really seemed to enjoy it. The reasons they gave was that the Bandit was more reliable than the Sidekick. It had a bit more range to it and they didn't always feel the need to go pick up a commando or a battle rifle because now they have the bandit as a starting weapon, there was a big divide on whether the battle rifle or the commando should be the starting weapon in big team battle. 343 didn't want to do that because of how much range these weapons have, so the bandit is kind of a middle ground. It's got more range than the sidekick, less than the battle rifle, and I would say it's definitely had its intended effect. Now before I get into my feedback, I had a lot of people ask, Remy, what is the coding you use on your bandit? It looks really cool. It is the Halo 5 Watchdog Max Rank skin, so if you get Max Rank on Halo 5, you're given this coding. It looks awesome. I really love what 343 did with it, so I just figured I would answer that very quickly since people are asking every day. Now to my feedback, and as a starting weapon with practice and learning to use the gun, I've become very, very consistent with it. That's good. Consistency is great. I found it much more satisfying to use the better I've become with it. So to me, I'm pretty indifferent. If I have a sidekick, great. If I have a bandit, that's fine. But if people are more happy with a bandit and there's more people enjoying big team battle because of it, then I think that's a great thing. I have found when I was practicing and when I was learning to become better with the weapon, I found for that final shot to get that headshot kill, aiming at the bottom of the reticule and putting their head at the very bottom seemed to yield more headshots, even if the aimer was partially off of their head. I also really enjoyed the outplay potential. I've had some really good encounters where I've been absolutely dead but since I crouch, strafe, and weave around the enemy, I can turn the fight back on them and kill them. That's great. I could also do that with the Psychic, but since the Bandit isn't so forgiving, I've noticed people miss their shots a lot more. Now, potential buffs to the weapon. I've honestly changed my mind about it having a scope. However, I've noticed the Assault Rifle is still more effective, maybe a slightly faster firing speed, and a tiny bit more of a red reticle range, and the gun will be in a great spot. Something very understated is the reload. It looks very satisfying, where it just flips out the mag. As a weapon, it's great. Now, for competitive purposes, if 343 ever made the band at the starting weapon of the HCS, they would have to add a scope to it. As for social based modes, Psychic Assault Rifle Starts will be the go-to. Aside from Team Slayer, they now have Battle Rifle Starts in that as well. So it's really cool that every playlist has a different starting weapon now. So there's variety. I've always felt that for Halo, variety is good. The more options you give players and the more control they have over what they play, the happier they're going to be. So I'm going to ask you guys, what do you like about the Bandit? What do you rate it out of 10? If you could change anything about the weapon, what would it be and why? Would you buff it? Would you nerf it? What changes would you make? This is probably the biggest gameplay change we have seen on Halo Infinite since the game launched. A whole new weapon has completely changed the meta, and for me, it's really changed the way I approach gunfights, so it's going to be cool to see how things evolve from here. So thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed. Back again tomorrow, and I'll see you guys later.